You schooled them. You schooled them. When you walked away from that, that hearing, uh, that committee meeting, did they, what did they say afterwards to you? Because I, I mean, I could see some of the faces of the people sitting in there as you were schooling people because you were simply saying, look, this is ridiculous. Look at all of these other states that allow this. Why do people think that Maine, or Maryland rather, that Maryland doing this, that this is going to somehow just turn into a bloodbath? Why can't I defend myself? What did they say to you after that? They, they don't really say much. Um, I think they, yeah. I think the majority of the legislators are silent on this topic, and we need at this point for the legislators to speak up on behalf of women and children and wives and daughter. Uh, the reality is I want the same right I am given by the Constitution, by the Second Amendment, if I lived in the majority of the rest of the United States. Is the map something that viewers can see right now? Uh, Yes, we have it right now. We're pulling it up here in just a second. Okay, because I, I really want to point out that the majority of the United States honors the Second yep. Amendment. And me asking that Maryland should honor the Second Amendment, I don't think is asking too much. No. I would like the right to be able to protect myself. And I'm tired of having to make the decision that when I know I'm being stalked by a man and he's following me home, if I choose to try and protect myself, then in essence, I would have to violate the law because wow. the law here does not honor self-defense. And, and the law, the way that it is written, and you've talked about this, Snowden versus State of Maryland, a court case in the 80s, they, they said that you have to have a good and substantial reason, a reasonable precaution against apprehended danger, and that it, the danger must be more than one person's personal anxiety. Now, knowing some of the has, what has happened to you and what you have dealt with, that seems to be to be way more than just personal anxiety. Right. But, but here's the reality about the way the state of Maryland actually interprets CC, they carry conceal, and they define the good and substantial is they can't define good and substantial. They don't really have a definition, which is why, excuse me, they don't have a definition of what would be the threat. Right. So we are asking our legislators to define it as self-defense. Right. Uh, currently, yeah, if the moon is full and there's three stars up there, then maybe they'll de decide that you have a legitimate cause and you can get a Kinsari Keel per permit. But throughout the, the majority of the United States, it's not arbitrary. And truthfully, you'd be much better off. You'd get a, the ability to protect yourself if you're protecting money, if you're protecting a business. They will give you a carry permit for that purpose. But me, I just want to protect myself or my friends who are mothers that want to protect themselves and their children, that is not considered good and substantial reason. So one of the laws we're trying to pass right now is to define self-defense as a reason for good and substantial. You had a man that was arrested in your backyard and you, you spoke about this situation at, when, at, at this mm -hmm. meeting. He, when he was taken into custody, a... he had duct tape and scissors with him. He had duct tape and scissors. I had never met him before in my life. I never heard his voice until the courtroom. Wow. Uh, multiple times I called the police on that man. And um, and they and, and yet you were left to fend for yourself magically, I guess, with magic, because no that was your equalizer. Firearm is your equalizer. Right. And and right. as much as and as much as um, and you hint you you got into this and in, in, in when you were speaking at that meeting as much as as women are portrayed in Lara Croft as Lara Croft in the movies and everything else the reality is that if a man with bigger muscle mass uh, greater bone density wants to overpower us if we don't have an equalizer what are we to do because the law on average 20 minutes for a 911 call and we're just supposed to sit there and gamble with that. Right, and I'm not willing to gamble, which puts me in a situation of having to decide, do I want to be judged by 12 and break a law, or do I want to take a chance of having to be carried by six? Amen. And the Constitution of the United States is supposed to give us that Second Amendment right, irregardless of what state we call home. Well, I call Maryland home, and I think it's time that Maryland gives me the right to protect myself without me having to break a law or possibly need to be judged by 12 versus carried by six. Right.